We at the Adopt a Seeker Foundation remind you all that all seekers need a good home, your love, and in this case, a fair amount of shelf space. Leader Class Combiner Wars Thundercracker, today on World of Stuff. Thundercracker, here is yet another Seeker repaint from the uh, later Jetfire from Generations. Though obviously without the, uh, the booster pack or the chrome. So that might be a plus or minus in some people's opinions, but still, it's a nice figure. Now obviously, uh, since this is a leader class figure from much later in the uh, production line, obviously there's going to be some differences in the decoration. Here we have the, uh, soon I would be the Generations, or the, now obviously, Shit. compared to the Generations Thundercracker, right here, there are some significant changes in the uh, decoration, mostly in the wings, still rather nice, you have a rough approximation there, although obviously this is a flat blue as opposed to the metallic, and obviously, well, I mean, you can pretty much see how the wings are different in the deco, but still, it's pretty nice. Everything is accounted for, and, well, you still have the purple Deception symbols on the wings, you still have the red, and you still have, so now on this one it's silver, on this one it's uh, more of a white, but still, it's all there with significantly more guns on this one. Now, as opposed to the Generations Thundercracker who just has his uh, null rays, here you have uh, a total of seven guns for the leader class here. Again, not chrome, but still quite nice. Now, in addition to what could easily equate for any of these three as the null rays, you also have uh, this one right here with a rather hair trigger missile on it, even with the uh, landing gear down. One second. And you do need to be careful with this thing because since the trigger is right there, it tends to go up at a moment's notice. So uh, you need to pay very close attention to where you are, where this thing is being aimed at. Because uh, if it's aimed at either your face or a small pet or a small child, this could lead to either pain, suffering, or crying. Quite possibly all three, if you're not paying attention. But still, it's uh, you can still do the, all the uh, wacky combinations of guns with uh, that you could with a jet fire, though uh, in blue and black instead of the you know, aforementioned the red chrome, which means that this thing is not going to have a chrome flaking off on it, which for some people is an will excite them because despite what uh, some of the vocal minorities say chrome is not what everybody wants sorry to say it but it's the truth now as for transformation itself uh, we'll start by actually removing all these guns because uh, they can get in the way you can possibly transform these without uh, moving any of these guns but let's be honest that would just be a bit of a, be a bit much and make this transformation sequence even longer. Okay, now, <clears throat> there we go. Don't worry, we're gonna put these all back later. All right, now we'll fold in the one landing gear here. Yes, yes, visible legs, visible head, visible arms. Let's try, but how often are you really gonna have a jet going up, doing a barrel roll, at least in your display? Seriously. Anyway, moving on then, we'll uh, flip out these parts, because that is rather important. As you can see, the tail fins got folded back here. Next, we will uh, disconnect the legs and fold, move these out a little bit. Let's see here now. <clears throat> now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. Okay, there we go. Detach the nose cone and start moving things backwards. Yep, much like the uh, jet fire, everything just kind of tucks around the back while you put the robot mode up to the front there. But hey, that's not always a bad thing. Let's see here. Twist this around. 
fold these down eventually. So now that will uh, fold out the arms and move these outward, like so. So now, now we will uh, <clears throat> I will move this back and fold this down. Put that right up there. Everything a bit more cohesive. Move this forward. Twist around. Twist around. There we go. And that makes everything connect together like that. Nice and neat. Excellent. Okay. Now there's... I, this should go like that. Okay, yes. Because otherwise it's not going to... Well, maybe actually it goes like... There we go, yes. Because then everything connects together nice and neat. Peg these here and here. Move these arms downward. Fold these feet. So, you know, first you bring them out that way. Then you fold out. There we go. Now everything's not going to fall over. Let's see. Move that. And... My, he's tall. Okay, let's see. Ah, there we go. Later class, Thundercracker. Robot mode. Okay, now despite what it looks like here, there is some light piping, if I can... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. That's nice and focused. Now, getting to it can be a little tricky, since it's just kind of all right there in the head. But, fortunately, that's what they make these little keychain LEDs for. So, let's see. Ah, yes, there we go. Just aim towards the back of the head there. And, yeah, that looks pretty nice. But, uh... In normal light, it's going to be a little hard to see. So, you know, let's see if I can... Da, 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 da. Mm, not really. Okay. Yeah, so there is light piping, but it, you kind of need some specialized tools to really see it. But you can see it. But obviously, uh, without the jet fire mask anyway, well, you're kind of just stuck with it. this. But still, that's a nice enough head. You definitely... Definitely a seeker head. If that excites you. You can also sort, store these uh, weapons right here as well. So there's something, and you can. Oop, shoot. Oh, there goes the missile again. But you can still hold the uh, that gun like that. So there you go. Onboard weapon storage. If you're into that sort of thing. Okay. Now for some comparisons in robot mode, where we do see some. Rather significant deviations here. Because obviously, uh, instead of having the red bands on the sh shoulders here, we, here we just have the uh, another Decepticon symbol. And, well, very two different shades of uh, <coughs> silver on the chest and pelvis there. Still, but uh, no, obviously no little red marks on the abdomen. But still pretty nice. <clears throat> and obviously, if you have several choices for the null rays here, here I st stick with the uh, larger blue items for the guns. Whereas with uh, generations, you just have the one choice there. And obviously, since you don't have the intakes uh, taking up a good portion of the chest there, that obviously there's going to be a bit of a discrepancy there as well. Now I imagine there will be a uh, repro label set to. Re Love that particular issue if um, <clears throat> you're interested in that. So, obviously, you will still have an option to do that, but you also have an option to do something a little more interesting. Let's see here now, like so. And yo, dog, I heard you like null rays. Am I right, folks? As for articulation, the head does go up and down, so. You can have an in the sort of Superman flying pose, which is rather G1, or you could do a bit more like that, which is silly but accurate. So here now, obviously it the uh, <clears throat> shoulders rotate as well as an outward uh, movement. So here now you can also uh, twist the head around. Uh, it's probably more due to transformation, but still rather neat. So here now, bicep rotation, ratcheted elbow. Nothing for the waist itself, but that's mostly because that's holding everything together. So here now, ratcheted uh, universal hip. So that's definitely something. Ratcheted elbow. So here now, 
nothing for the wrists there. Whoops. But uh, that's probably due to limitations there. It's here now. As for the uh, feet, now you can put them in a stance, but there's no real uh, uh, ankle tilt there. Kind of do the stance it goes. It's kind of got its own ankle tilt, but you can move it forward. So that's something there. So he does look a little bit more natural when he's actually uh, standing. You don't like have this G1 straight like you do with the uh, <clears throat> generation. So that's. But then again, this is just the seeker mode, so they all kind of had that. All uh, 20 plus versions of this, whereas there's yet to be a. Um, well, there will be four. They do have the Skywarp announced in that pre-order. So. And let's see, you have Jetfire, Starscream, which already has its own fan base, and Skywarp upcoming. No word yet as to the uh, Conehead Seekers or anybody else, so. But a lot of people seem more psyched about having the Skywarp, getting the Skywarp version of the mold. That was, whereas Thunderwork Cracker is equally nice. It just doesn't seem to be as large a fan base, at least as far as I know. I imagine by the time like this. If you comes out, I'll uh, probably have a clear idea as to what the fan base for the Thunder Cracker is, anyway. But still, it's an equally effective figure. And definitely worth your time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this review. I am the Deceptive Wolf. This has been Combiner Wars Later Class Thundercracker. And I bid you all good night, good hunting, and it's blue.